What are you looking at? Yeah, you want some? Hey guys, welcome back to Tammy Legends once again. Thank you for stopping by. So, another new arrival, um, as you've no doubt seen on the title. So, up on this video, we are showing you the Tamiya Sand Scorcher. Um, I guess every one of you knows what this is. Um, just to give you a little bit of background on the Sand Scorcher, the original kit came out in um, February, sorry, in December 79 on part number 58016. The 16th Tamiya RC car, and probably one of the most important. Obviously, this is the um, Re Re, which was from 2010, February, and this part number was 58452. An absolute classic. Obviously, SRB chassis. Um, tons of metal on this car. Uh, not the best runner, but. Um, you know, if you're a Tamiya fan, and I'm guessing you are if you watch my channel, this thing is just superb. Now, this is a custom special. Um, a little bit of history behind this. Um, I started looking, I, I saw a wild one for sale, a new built Riri. Uh, contacted the guy, what, said I wanted to buy it or whatever, and then those fateful words came back to me. Oh, do you want to buy these as well? I was like, oh God. So there was two other cars and this was one of them. So he just sent me a picture of the box. He said, I've got a sand scorcher for you. And I was like, well, I am planning on adding a sand scorcher, but I want to build one myself. Um, and then he said, it's a custom one I've built already. And I was like, mm, I really wanted to do a custom one myself. Anyway, let's just move that out of the way. Are you ready for this? Look at that. <laughs> oh my word. As soon as I saw it, I was like, yeah, I have to have that. And I didn't even know anything about it. It was just, I said yes, visually, first of all. Um, I didn't realize how custom this thing is. So it's a little bit dusty um, and it needs a little bit of work, but hardly anything. Obviously, we'll have a close up of the car. Um, the obvious things to tell you are the majority of this car is original, even though he, he just gave me, gave me the re-re box and uh, manual for it, which is, oops, which is cool. So I assumed it's mostly uh, re-re, but as you experts out there will see, that's an original chassis. I don't know about that metal plate. Um, I'd have to double check in the manual. I've got a sneaky feeling the Riri is black, could be wrong. Um, but the chassis is definitely original. All the gearbox is original, and I believe the front uh, metal works original as well, which is super cool. Um, obviously the rest of it made up of Riri parts, but as we get into this, you'll see there's been lots of changes done to it. The shell is Riri, and it's done in this, what would you call it? Love bug, it's like, an, it's like a 70s hippie mobile. I love it, love, band the bomb, you know, hippie flowers. It just suits this beetle shell down to the ground. So obviously looking at it, you've got um, an alloy, um, what do you call that, roof rack. Um, now these are cool if you fill these up with like surfboards and things like that, something we could look at. But a um, quality piece of kit bolted down to the shell. It's then got this um, alloy LED light bar, and this is all working as well, which I'll show you. Uh, and that's super bright. He's also got all the LEDs rigged up to the two front headlights, the two rear lights, and where is it? Down here, he's put these um, like indicators on, and they've got LEDs as well. Mega cool. So we're going to test it all out, make sure it's all working. When it comes to setup, the wiring in here, it looks it looks a nightmare for me because I've never really messed around with LEDs uh, and it looks pretty complicated to be honest so fingers crossed it's all working. On top of that he's put uh, or he's made like a custom driver canopy for it and it's there's so much going on on the inside of this as you'll see. The driver's head it's got a servo on it 
So when you turn left and right, the driver's head turns at the same time. Oh my God, I love that. Um, seeing it done by other people, never ever come across it myself, so I don't even know how, how it works. But um, again, we'll test that out, which is mega cool. Now apparently, um, when the way it's set up, because these LED boxes have lots of different settings, I believe, but the way he's got it set up, that when you do turn left and right, as, as well as the head turning, the indicators flash as well. I believe but again we'll test this out so before we get into take the top off as you can see it's got these really cool genuine alloy wheels all around which are mega cool um, and they're pretty expensive as well I believe um, he's changed the front dampers to these yellow ones now I don't know what they're from um, obviously the standard kit comes with the um, silver alloy dampers front and back so he's got these yellow ones on I'll try to read what it says nitro charger why i like these so much is because they've got the yellow and it stands out and it's got some black writing on it and it it kind of looks like a proper car damper if that makes sense so you know i don't know um how good they are but um they look great and then i'll show you this in more detail but it's got some blue anodized metal um, rear shocks on, um, which are completely different from original. But I'm gonna leave it, I, you know, I'm not going to change it back to how it was, because I think this has been done to a very high level. Um, what else is, uh, what I can show you? So as you can see, this, is, this thing's really custom. Um, what I wanna do on this video is, I think we can make it look a little bit better. So what I wanna do, I've got, I just found this out the other day, these tires are re-re fronts and the, obviously this, this car here with these rears has this massive sandblaster writing on. Now, any SRB chassis car for me has to have the tire writing done because it's so in your face. I also want to do it in yellow because I think it'll suit this buggy. So the rears are fine, they're probably re-re tires. But as I say, the um, re-re fronts don't have the sandblaster writing on them, they just have a tiny tamir at the top. Um, so it kind of wouldn't match. Now, I dug through my um, fast attack vehicle, which is in bits that I have to build. And I know the majority of that's original. So I looked, I dug the front tires out, brand new, obviously original sandblaster on them. So the mission will be, I wanna change the front tires off to sandblaster and also do all the full tire writing in yellow. I think that's gonna look amazing. So there's that to do. There's also on the rear wheel, there's two screws missing on the alloy. So I've dug through my bits and I've got some, I've got the, I don't know if these text are long or a short screw, um, but I've got a set of either and I've got some brand new nuts. So we'll, we'll fix that up. Then, um there's he's not fitted the mirrors and i've got them so there's the mirrors are in two pieces the actual mirror bit you, you just glue that to the actual wing mirror and then the wing mirror just fits through these holes and you just put an o-ring through and they're a nice chrome so I, I definitely think it needs the mirrors unfortunately we haven't got the chrome window wipers um which is a bit of a shame but we haven't got them so it doesn't matter so wing mirrors and there's oh and the bumper um, the bug number plate are in there as well. It has one front and back that just glues on. The back one just overlaps here. So I've also got the decals for it, which is badger bug. Um, so I want to cut that out, paint it black, put the decal on and fit the um, front and back bumpers to it as well. So I think bumpers on, wing mirrors on, two new screws sort of does, wheels out, change the front tires, get the tire writing done. That's the first thing I wanna do on this video. And then after that, we'll just get a transmitter and receiver out on a battery and we'll power it up uh, and just see <laughs> what this LED kit and this driver's head is all about, um, which I'm super excited about. I would have loved to have built one myself, I've got to admit, but there's a lot of money that goes into this. And the fact that this is, I would say the majority of this is original, 
then I had to have it. So um, before we get cracking, I'll um, we'll bring the camera closer and we'll have a, a detailed look at what we've got. What do you think, guys? Stick in comments if you like it. I I love it. It's it's completely different. I love the colours he's gone for, and he's gone for like metallic as well on all three of the kind of base colours, which is really cool. Those alloy wheels, they're, they're absolutely stunning. Obviously it needs that from um, number plate and I think the mirrors as well, give it a little bit more width. Look at that thing. Obviously the rear suspension on this thing is not the best. But it's, uh, it's all doing what it's supposed to do. Oh, wow, it's so cool. Obviously doesn't have a differential on it. Um, not too sure if you can do a differential on this uh, car. I bet somebody made it for it. The back engine bay is just black plastic and he's painted what comes as white in the kit. He's just painted those matte black. think they would look better in silver, to be honest. But I don't think I'm going to bother doing anything about that. Um, so let's whiz the shell off. So this is where it starts getting a little bit messy. So I'll just unclip that off the back and then push that up. So nothing's connected at the moment, but uh, oh my goodness me, look at that. Cable everywhere. So as I say, you've got LED to the front two lights, then you've got LED to the indicator. On the back, you've got, well, there's actually four LEDs, which I didn't know, I thought it was two. So that may be an indicator and a brake light, which we'll, we'll check when we power it up. With all the wiring, it only looks like there's actually two cables to connect. Um, little micro servo for the driver's head to move, which is mega cool. <laughs> nice detail on the driver as well. Guys put a lot of effort into putting this together. Um, and it wears a bit as well. And there's the chassis. So, I don't know a great deal about this car. Um, obviously that's a re-re bumper, I can tell. This front end looks like it's got a bit of age to it, so I'm gonna say that that front end's original, the metal work, obviously aftermarket dampers, aftermarket dampers. Pretty certain this is re-re, I believe. These alloy shocks, which are obviously non tamia but they seem to do the job okay. Gearbox, you can tell by the, the looking at it, that's 100% original. And if you look at the um, universal couplings, they're definitely original. Um, chassis original, don't know about that plate, as I say. I would imagine the tyres are re-re. Um, now the eagle-eyed of you will have spotted the front ends being I don't want to say customised, actually two connections for your lights. Um, the serve steering servos there, and it's not supposed to be, the steering servo is supposed to be in, it fit down here, and then it's got this um, connection rod, and it's um, it has a servo server down here. So it's completely um, modded that. Um, don't know if that's a bodge or what, we'll, we'll take this lid off and we'll make sure Feels a little bit kind of loose. Not sure how that's bolt bolts down. There's one bolt through the middle, but it's pretty solid. These are on the quick release, so as we get into it, we'll have a look. But the steering, obviously, has kind of gone direct. Now I do know the steering on these, as standard, is not great, but um, you know that's that looks like it's going to do the job. But again, we'll test it out. What a thing! What an absolute thing. Super chuffed to get hold of this and just, just have a look at it more than anything. I'm, you know, we're gonna we're gonna get this running, but um, what a thing. Yeah, I'm very impressed with that. Tell you what we'll just do. We'll just get the old Tamiya tool set out. And just take this quick release uh, clips out. It's not that one. These are cool little clips, I like these. They just clip up like that, quarter of a turn. Oops. And then that should just lift off. There we go. 
So we've got some weird speedo in there, which I don't really know. Just a standard brushed one, but uh, looks pretty cool. After, as I say, as we go, we'll figure out all this wiring. I believe that's a, that's a switch in there, in that balloon. It's not overly complicated. Um, obviously, I believe the battery is supposed to go across there. So, not a great deal of room for the battery. So, we might have a... Anyway, we'll dig a battery out. It's on a Dean's connector. So, you're seeing this, guys, is real time. I hope I'm not boring you, but I... Um, I wanted to sort of do this in, in real time so you can see what I'm seeing. Very, very cool. But obviously the whole purpose of this is not only to make it look a little bit be better today, it's it's with a view to testing it and then getting it running. Because um, you can't get hold of something like this and not do uh, one or two running videos with it. Look at that, how bendy that is. I'll just put, I'll, what I'm gonna do is just put some pressure on the bumper and take the weight of the car. Look at it bend, you see that? crazy design 1979 can you believe that design bloody hell that's old so i think we'll leave the chassis at that for now and let's start making a a start on the what will we do first i think first job we'll whiz the wheels and tires off we'll fix that rear one up with the correct ones we'll swap the tires and then we'll get the tire writing done i think that's the first place to start so guys, I just thought I'd just share this with you because a lot of people like to do tire writing but a lot of them don't go near it in case of mistakes. I, it's just tri tri trial and error and if you do make mistakes, a little craft knife with a sharp blade just scrapes that paint straight off. But I just wanted to show you what I'm doing now. Obviously I'm 46 years old and my eyes are starting to go downhill slightly, although I don't wear glasses. But when I'm doing them, this is the setup I have. I've got this little LED light which just it probably is not coming across on camera the difference it makes but it makes a massive difference i also use these like ten dollar uh, magnif magnification glasses just got them from like asda walmart um you just try them on when you're there and i think these are three and a half times mag magnification and they're a godsend to be honest that with a led bright light um and it's it's a lot easier um, Sharpie fine, no, it's, no it's, Sharpie paint pen, oil based, extra fine nib. That's a paint pen and obviously it comes in different colours. And this is what you're getting. Now just bear in mind this is only the first coat. So it, the second will be a lot more yellowy. But they look awesome, don't they? Couple of patches that have not filled in properly. But again, you'll get everything on the second coat. That's the front one. I just think it, these just absolutely transform especially when this is on the the car it's going to look absolutely awesome so i just thought i'd share that with you um i'll let them dry because if you tend to not give them long enough and you'd go over to do a second coat with this it tends to lift the first paint off um, which i found out the hard way so make sure before you go for the second coat that that's really dry even if you just go hair dryer method or whatever to speed it up if you're in a rush but um take your time one of my favourite wheels to do that, or tyres I should say, because it just looks, it just completely transforms the look. Um, anyway, I'll, while I'm waiting for them to dry, I'll um, show you this, which is the next stage. So we have got um, the two bumpers, bumpers, the two number plates, which just glue on, but I just need to uh, put those black, I think, maybe silver. Um, and then we've got the two badger bug decals to go on the one with the um, white boxes in the top left and right corner as a front and then the basic ones are back so I'll put them on um, and then as I say we've got the wee chrome mirrors um, and that's the actual that's the mirror bit which just glues into there and then um, pushes through the body and an, uh, an o-ring goes over so it's pretty straightforward. Um, oh, one thing I've not shown you. So a couple of problems with the alloy wheels, unfortunately. So one of the rears had a couple of screws missing and I just assumed it'd be the same as like the grasshopper wheels, um, but they're not, they come with those spacers. Now obviously those, the, well, the nuts, but they're also, that's how your wheel locates onto the axle. So I couldn't put the nuts 
on there. It still held, but it meant it was only um, on by f on three of them. So I swapped out one of each from the fronts. As you can see, one's got a nut on, because um, obviously they they don't matter on the front. Had to go with a really short screw, um, and obviously if you didn't know it was there, you just think those well, screws are, are normal. So I've done that, and that's that's um, fixed that rear one where the two were missing. Um, and both rears have got all five of the adapter things on. I actually thought these were two piece wheels, but they're not the one piece um, And that gives me a little bit of a problem on here because to run this you would need to glue these on And I'm not definitely not going to do that. That's a bit of a problem. So Might not be able to run it on these these have got really high side walls And I don't want to squeeze because I've just painted but I think that tire will come off that wheel very easily so um, we might need to rethink and see what other, I'm just trying to think what front wheels we've got. We've got wild one. Don't really think that'll look good. We have got the new set of Riri frog wheels and tires. So the, yes, the front frog tire will fit that wheel. Um, and I've also got some old rears which I might just have to use for the uh, running video. But anyway, I'm getting ahead of myself now. So let's get cracking with the rest of it. Right, that's the second coat of the wheels done. And do you know, it's a funny thing doing tire writing. I, I made more mistakes on the second run than I did on the first. And it's because you can see the tire writing a lot more easier. So you get a little bit carried away. Um, anyway, I've gone over with a knife. A um, little bit more touch up to do, but they're not bad at all. They look pretty good. Um, it's not as yellow as I thought it would be, but that's actually better, I guess, because it'll tie in a little bit with the colour. Um, I also did the front bumper. Why do I keep calling it bumper? Um, so that's the front number plate on, and I also stuck the rear on, which looks pretty cool. And I probably can't get this in this camera, but the mirrors are on. So next up, um, before we put some power to it, <clears throat> I'm just going to build it all back up uh, and just see what it looks like. What do you think guys? <laughs> I'm loving that. I've brought those wheels to life. I know you, a lot of you guys not really into the tyre writing, but for me it's a must with just about every Tamiya kit. That looks awesome. Oh, I've not put the front body post on. Careful and the mirrors and obviously the uh, yeah those mirrors make it look better as well just add a little bit to it I'll be careful because I've got um, let's flatten that suspension slightly oh yes look at it <laughs> I'm loving that I'm loving that yes that is awesome God, it's a bit of a beast. God, I hope it's coming across on camera how good it looks. And I keep repeating it, but those alloy wheels have come to life now because of that right tire writing. And the mirrors and what have you. And the, uh... Right, um, so let me go dig a receiver out now and um, a battery and we'll power it up and see, see what's what. Right, so I've just stuck it on the stand and just... Uh, connected the receiver so transmitter on switch on right we've got power and we've got steering now that's really over steering I need to turn that trim down not the trim the steering rate slightly yeah that's better power Excellent, right, so that's that done. So now I'll do this off camera because this is gonna be very fiddly. I've got to connect these two connections to the body shell and then I'll try and get the body shell sat down best I can and um, we'll have a look at this LED situation. Check this out guys. <laughs> that is quality. What are you looking at? 
Yeah, you want some? That is uh, Let's move the camera back slightly. So obviously the head works with the wheels. Let's just put that up and back a little bit. So it looks like the um, only one of the indicators on one side is working. Let's just look at reverse. Um, bloody hell, it's got brake lights as well. So if you go full forward and then you hit brake, you'll see the LED go brighter. Or oh, maybe it's a different LED. <laughs> That's insane. I've never played with anything like this before. So yeah, we've we've got some kind of I don't want to call it a fault but maybe a loose connection somewhere but and also if you just do it give it a little bit of throttle the LEDs don't come on it's full or nothing oh god looks like that rear tire is not on properly I'll have to line that up but if you give it full throttle That's interesting. I'll have to have a look at the connections. God, it's looking good. That driver's helmet is just ridiculous. I love it. That is so cool. Um, right, I guess that's about as far as I can go with it now, but that is looking so cool. Let's take it off the stand. So cool. I know I keep saying it, but... Oops. Anyway, it's, it's, uh, it's ready to run, as they say. Well, guys, what do you think? <laughs> I love it. That is genuinely one of the coolest things I've ever played with. Um, I've not had anything like that in my whole Tamiya life um, and I'm just so impressed with it it's um, there's so much work and effort and time and probably money gone into this um, and when you put the whole package together I mean the, th the thing I'm thinking about right now is um, sort of just running it you know slowly and so you can you can see the thing the, like the LEDs and the head movement and whatever but you know, when the sun's setting a little bit and it's just going dark or so, I think if you ran it in pitch black, I don't think the camera would pick pick it up very well. It just be the LEDs would just be too bright. But I think if you get it in under the light, the right sort of evening conditions, you could run it round and you'd see the lights, but you'd also see the car. And I just think it'll look superb. God, I'm very happy with this one. Something completely different. Um, and as I say, this is something. You know, I wasn't looking for, um, but I'm I'm really glad I got the opportunity to buy it because um, it's something really different. So, guys, what do you think? Stick in the comments what you think. Um, let's see if we can push this video out a little bit with likes, shares, and comments and all that good stuff. Because I'd like I'd like as many people as possible to see this thing. Um, what's next for this is I, I disconnected the receiver and took it back out because um, the radio gear as, as as we're making this video now um, I've got a couple of different cars that I need the radio gear for so this will just sit on the shelf for now until we've done those running videos and then I just want to give it a blast 
I'm hoping with these front tyres, because I'm definitely not going to glue these, but I'm hoping we can just have a little jaunt about on the tarmac and what have you. And then possibly the options there to put the um, the frog rear -re wheels and tyre set on it and put it on the gravel. Still don't know if it's really worth it for a buggy like this, to be honest. Let me know what you think. How do you want to see this running? Obviously, it's just going to toddle around on tarmac. That's a given. But do you want to see it go off road with, you know, kicking up the dirt, kicking up the gravel, as it were? Um, so yeah, still, let me know what you guys want to see. So, once again, guys, thanks for watching. It's really appreciated. If you are new to this channel, if you could please consider liking and subscribing to support us. And do all that good stuff, like I said, like, comment, share. All that stuff helps push this channel out a little bit further. And um, most important thing, as always, guys, happy our scene.